Hey everybody, so excited to be with my friend Tom Ferry. Uh, in the house, in the house. Welcome to Amon Clinics. Uh, Wait a minute, we actually have, this is like dueling iPhones right now. Your friend group, my friend group, so hey to all my friends as well. Look who I'm with, Dr. Daniel Amon. You remember the interview we did uh, several months back? Tell, tell them what's going on. I have 16 months of brain work with you. Well, you're a brain warrior. I mean, you care. Yes. And you're armed, prepared, and aware. Yes. And you originally came to me because you had a concussion and you were worried about that. Yes. And we could actually see it in his scan. And I'm like, mm, not healthy. And the thing I love about you is you are serious. Yes. You do what I ask you to do. Oh my God, if I could get everybody to do that, be a miracle. All my but, clients are like, he's coachable. <laughs> I'm coachable. Um, and what we did today was, well, we went, well, did it make any difference? And what we saw was really significant overall improvement, but especially in this area called your left temporal lobe. So memory and mood stability, reading social cues, it's just a hugely important critical part of your brain yes. and your frontal lobes, focus, forethought, judgment, impulse control. Um, so I got to tell them really fast for, for all my friends out there, after I did the test the first time, you told me what it was, right, the, the front temporal lobe, I couldn't remember the name of it. I was literally experiencing things that I had remembered forever. Think people, places, suddenly, all of a sudden, I was just missing things, right? I'd never experienced that before in my life, and that was a big part of the reason why I came to you. And now, I just have this, um, it just feels like my brain is so much more clear, active, on point. I remember things that I need to remember. I'm in the moment. A lot of the um, stress and anxiety that I was feeling because of a memory loss, because of feeling like my brain wasn't fully functioning, it created more anxiety for me. So, so the thing that I want to stress everybody is the anxiety, like my, my stress level should be up because of how much I have in my life, all the things I have going on, but my stress level's lower. And, and tell them about the cognitive side. I know you're gonna jump into that, but I'm, I'm, I'm a fan, I'll just say that. So this was his original um, active scan. So blue is average activity, mm -hmm. red and white are the most active parts of the brain. And his stress brain is up, call it the limbic or emotional brain but his cerebellum, which is at the back bottom part of the brain, is critically important. It's 10% of the brain's volume, it has half the brain's neurons. And in a healthy scan, this is red and white, and this sort of is a weak red, but when we did his follow-up scan, his cerebellum, just so much better, so healthy, so, active and the, the stress is lower. So as you feel it, mm -hmm. we can see it and with a better brain comes a better life than all those things that, and it wasn't, was it hard? You yeah. know, people go, oh, I can't yeah. do all this. It's yeah. like, well, was it hard? Yeah, no, not at all. I mean, it was uh, changes in your diet, changes in my diet, changes in the supplements that I was taking, um, continuing to get more rest, and I think probably the biggest thing was when you measure anything, all my friends know I'm a big measure to increase performance. And the problem is I had no way prior to this to measure what was going on. And at least now I can see where the stress level activity was and how much we've been able to decrease it by following the plan. So could you explain to them what this is again? The way you described it for me, the processor, so they understand the C so cerebellum when he said it. I was like, yeah, I get the word, but what does it mean? What does it do? So I think of it like the processing speed on your computer. Mm -hmm. So when I got my first computer, it was a 286 processor. Yes. It was really slow. Yes. And then it was 386, 486, Pentium. And when your cerebellum's low, like yours was in the first scan, it's sort of like you have a 286 computer mm -hmm. when you live in a fast Pentium world. And with all you do, and all of your fans who are high achievers, when, when you do all you do, but you're not processing, right, everything in your life becomes harder. And so processing speed on the supplements, so we actually published a study yeah. on it, dramatically improved in our football players 
who all of them have brain damage. Yes. And so you can make your brain better. And I'm so grateful to Tom uh, to allowing us to tell his story. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, for all my friends out there, give them the one, so the one thing I have to do going forward, talk, tell them about oxygen. So one of the things we discovered, we actually published studies on this, is hyperbaric oxygen therapy increases blood flow to the brain. Um, we published on it, other people published on it, and it's one of the things we're going to do going forward yeah. to get your brain even healthier because neither you or I are interested in normal. No. Um, normal, quite frankly, is not that great. No. We want to be optimal. We want you to be optimal too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for everything you do and for your team. Thank you so much. And for all of our friends out there, thanks for being a part of this. Heart it up, thumb it up. If you don't know who Dr. Daniel Amon is, you need to get to know this guy because he has had a measurable increase in my mental performance. Thank you. Thank you so much.